Hello there everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Calm Before the Storm mod for Hot Divine Falls. You can tell we're playing with Mr. Herbert Hoover, but really, he's going to be able to replace him, but as you can tell we're playing as America. Construction of Golden Gate Bridge begins. Today, the construction of the Golden Gate, a bridge connecting San Francisco to Marin County, California. The design of the bridge has been done by Joseph Strauss, an American engineer of German descent. Although, the cost of construction is projected to be 27 measly dollars. Million dollars. It'll greatly help the entire city of San Francisco and its inhabitants, as the ferry service is quite outdated. Good luck in the U.S. in 33. The land of the free was not going through good times in 1933. After joining the Great War with seemingly no gain, the Roaring Twenties came, signaling an era of prosperity that saw America become the largest economy and leader in sectors such as the Automobile One. It also saw the implementation of prohibition, something that caused an explosion of organized crime throughout the city, or the country, really. This prosperous time abruptly ended on October 29th or October 1929, when the New York stock market crashed and sent the U.S. and the world into a hard economic recession and crisis, or a really depression. Currently, the President Hoover Hoover, elected in 28, has been completely unable to fix the depression, allowing unemployment to rise to more than 25%, and failing at saving the banking sector. As rival in the last election, the Democratic Governor of New York, FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, managed to convince both Democratic conservatives and progressives to support his New Deal, an economic program that he's designed to fix the depression. The result was Roosevelt crushing victory in the elections held two months ago on November 32. Now Hoover and his VP Charles Curtis sit in the White House until inauguration day March 4th. The election of Roosevelt represents a new light of hope in the country, battered by poverty and pessimism. Will Roosevelt succeed, or maybe is the other president the one that'll fix the crisis? Or will America stand on her knees forever? Yeah, yeah, just be seen. God bless America, and I'll let you know right now. Oh, we can't do focus, first of all. But this, we're going to try to go historical. Oh, Cal Calvin Coolidge, you guys, that sucks, bro. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try to go historical. Obviously, um, by historical, I mean, like, we're just going to get FDR and do the, whatever we can do. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Traditionally, new presidents have been inaugurated on March 4th, as stated in the Articles of Confederation 1788. However, as elections are away, always held in November, the result is a four-month lame duck period, which is rather odd. To solve this, Congress proposed last year to move the inauguration day a bit closer to the elections, to so January 20th. But today, Missouri has finally ratified the amendment, reaching the required states to approve the amendment. Thus, Roosevelt will be the last president to take office in March. It was a necessary change. And I was wondering when that happened. So right now, our popularity is a coalition between the market libs and the liberal conservatives. So, cool. Oh, look, Mr. Adolf. Hey, Adolf. How you doing, Adolf? How you doing? Um, so, yeah, right now we're not looking so good. It's not very good. I pulled all the soldiers back from, like, the other places. There's some garrison divisions here, too. Um, they're not as good as infantry, but I mean, the garrisons do have an effort. But I don't think I'm going to keep them. Uh, do we have anything over here? So we have the lobby, house support, we withdraw Nicaragua and Haiti and Grand Island Defense of the Philippines, but assassination attempt on FDR already. Worrying news, President-elect Franklin Delano Roosevelt has been attacked by Giuseppe Zangara, a naturalized American born in Italy while he was delivering a speech in Miami, Florida. Although Roosevelt evaded in Zangara's bullets, five people were injured, including Major Ch uh, Mayor of Chicago, Anton Cermak, who was already in severe condition. Zangara has immediately been arrested and he already confessed his crime, proving he's mentally ill. At least the President-elect is alright. No, I didn't know that. Huh. He was almost assassinated, huh? Oh, this looks pretty good, too. Advocate, adv activate the Army of the U.S. The Blaine Act. After many filibuster attempts and threats of vetoing by President Hoover, the Blaine, Blaine Act is finally passed, signaling the beginning of the end of the prohibition. The act itself is a resolution that proposes a 21st Amendment that would repeal the 18th Amendment, one that bans all alcoholic beverages. The campaign promise of Roosevelt, this was a major victory for him. Prohibition's days are finally numbered. Cool. But yeah, it doesn't look very good. We said support's halfway. I'll support a little less than halfway, but... You know, it is what it is. It's weird that we can't choose to focus. I thought we'd be able to choose to focus early on, but we're all so close to March 4th, it doesn't really matter. But we do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm in these American trying times, of course. Inauguration of FDR. Today is the inauguration of Franklin Delano Roosevelt. After a long winter, former governor of New York, he contracted polio in 21. And noticed a paralyzed his leg and prevented him to walk unaided. Despite this, he won the last year's election in November in a landslide, with his New Year program promising to fix the horrors of the Great Depression. The new Democratic administration will get to hard work as possible. I, FDR... Do you know if Franklin or FDR? And we have the new foreign policy here. First 100 days are over. Uh, so yeah, the aging army. Oh boy. Inauguration day? Nice. Inaugurate. We'll follow this presidency with interest. So, what do we have here? It says, the first 100 days, we got to pass a lot of things. They're not completely loose to building social liberalism. When we get we completed, we get some social liberalism and political power. Election campaign promises, huh? <clears throat> All right, then, Inauguration Day. After four months, FDR, Franklin Delano Roosevelt's final has been sworn in as President of the U.S. His presidency won't be easy, but we can help to, he'll overcome the difficulties and fix the Depression. Deal with the banks. After forcefully closing the banks, now we have to do something for them when they reopen. The Emergency Bank and Act, our team is drafting, is key to fixing the banking sector. 
Parliament will vote for a law. Who the heck is Parliament? I don't understand who the heck Parliament is, but for the poor, <clears throat> you'll get five infrastructure all over the country. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, balance federal budget. We're going to need some political power. You lose the military factory. Feed the poor. Uh, that's probably not a bad idea. I want more political power. We have to do something about the masses of poor, unemployed, and even hungry Americans. We have to offer a relief program, and we have to do it now. Oh, well. Emergency Banking Act? Yeah. Nice. Emergency Banking Act. Another bank holiday imposed by the President after Inauguration Day. And with a strong sense of urgency, both the House and Senate have approved the Emergency Banking Act. This law allows the 12 Federal Reserve Banks to issue additional currency on good assets, so the reopening banks after the forced holiday can meet their needs. This measure will hopefully help stabilize the banks and end the bank runs that have plagued us since the Depression began. We need a strong banking sector. And employ the poor? Uh, I like the infrastructure. Consumer goods is pretty good as well, but we lose political power. If we want to fix the nation, we'll have to provide employment to our people. Many programs are being drafted to fix this, like the Civilian Conservation Corps that need that we have to take to Congress. Federal insurance deposits. Uh, fireside chats. Today, President Roosevelt has addressed the American people in the first of his fireside chats. One of the personal projects of Roosevelt, he already used broadcasts to explain colloquially his agenda to the lecture when he was governor of New York. And now he's devoted the first fireside chat to explain the recently passed emergency banking act. With an audience of more than 60 million people, it's been clear success. Together, we cannot fail. While we try to get our legislation approved in Congress, we should continue our economic policies implementing these laws. We've been passed and using executive orders to deliver economic recovery as soon as possible. Sure, why not? I'll try that one. Why not? First 100 days, Emergency Banking Act has been passed, so... Oh god, look at that. Oh, Senate support is... Not bad, that's pretty good. Federal Emergency Relief Act? Nice. After passing the Federal Emergency Relief Act, we can establish a new agency. The Federal uh, Emergency Relief Act. Administration. This agency will offer relief and employment to poor people, though through three main work areas adult education, employment for women, and food redistribution to prevent starvation. It also will offer unskilled jobs for desperate people, something that will psychologically help our society and bring back optimism. We need to help the people. Employ the poor, of course. And then balance federal budget. <clears throat> uh, do we need to have a balanced budget if we want to ensure the sustainability? To do so, we sadly have to pass an austerity bill to Congress that would cut federal worker and federal veteran wages sharply. Balance federal budget. Uh, sure. Sure you want to do that? We don't need no federal budget, do we? What do we have here? Ah, early fact now. Nice. Con Civilian Conservation Corps Act. The just approved Civilian Conservation Corps Re Reforestation Relief Act will establish a new government agency called the Civilian Conservation Corps. This new agency has three purposes. Give employment, food, and shelter to unemployed Americans. Employ reserve officers who will, still, who will run the work camps. <clears throat> And conservation and development of natural resources in lands owned by the federal government. Already tried by the president when he was the governor of New York. And supported by the figures like of like Huey Long. The CCC will surely tackle unemployment. A good idea. But will it be sustainable? Eh, maybe. Unemployment reduction. Save American farms. Those are that one. The crop prices problem needs to be solved as soon as possible. To do so, we should prepare a bill to go to Congress. Creating the Agriculture Adjustment Administration. Save America's industry. In order to save our industrial sector, we have to intervene and prepare a new bill, the National Industrial Recovery Act, to ensure competition, union rights, and employment. Economy Act. Cool. Eh, well, sorry, Ohio. Economy Act. One of our campaign promises was to balance the federal budget, and the Economy Act was an effort in that direction. $500 million in the federal budget have been cut, including a 50% reduction in veteran pensions and wage cuts for the most federal workers, including members of Congress. Oh, good. The Act has faced stiff opposition in Congress, as many still remember the bonus march of last year, however. We have managed to pass it through, and the federal budget is now more in balance. Sacrifice is necessary until later. Keep gotten, I guess. I think there's a budget mechanic in this game, but that's what TNO is for, I guess. Agricultural adjustment? Surplus commodities corporations? Room of 50 days from crop price increase. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. So, what does that do? Crops prices increase. Right now, where is that? Where are they at? Racial segregation. Oh, you get more political power that way. Nice. Slump proliferation. The Great Depression sucks. Abysmal crop prices. So, they've fallen really badly because of the, the reduced demand. So, just let the market take control of it. <clears throat> create the Tennessee Valley Authority. Wow, 10 days, nice. Senator George W. Norris and supporters are very vocal about the creation of a new federal corporation to improve the economy of the Tennessee Valley area. One of the most punched by the Depression. It certainly is a good idea, so we'll show up a pair of bill for it. Nice. Einstein and Rise, look at that. Adolf, after Hitler came to power in Germany, the famed German scientist Albert Einstein, the developer of the theory of relativity, knew that this condition of his condition of Jewish uh, origin made return to Germany impossible. After traveling to Belgium and Britain, he decided to take a position at the Institute for Advanced Studies, settling in for in our country for now. Welcome. 
Do you know how to make bombs? A Century of Progress. Today marks the opening of the World's Fair, A Century of Progress in Chicago. The fair focuses on technological innovation and adaptation of mankind to these new times. The fair also celebrates the centennial of Chicago's foundation, uh, founding in 1833. The fair, with its colorful buildings and technological optimism, will surely help alleviate some of the psychological effects of the Great Depression and boost the economy of Chicago in an even more prosperous century. Uh, I'm not sure how much actually tank we're actually going to be using, so grab that one. I'm mean, also going to grab it probably eventually, but let's... Wow, we're not even doing stuff for the Great War Doctrine. Holy crap. It is 33. You probably want to get some of that eventually as well. So we'll see. First 100 days. So we need to pass Tennessee Valley Authority and National Reconstruction Business Act. Wait, can we actually get that one done? National Industrial Recovery Act. Oh, it's right here. Oh, duh. Oh, crap. We need... Uh-oh. 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 Uh... -oh. uh, -oh. uh -oh. Oh, that's not good. How are we supposed to pass this? How are we supposed to pass this then? Oh, was I not supposed to do that one? Oh. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that one. Tennessee Valley Authority. Congress has just passed the Tennessee Valley Authority Act, establishing a new federally owned corporation to provide economic development to the Tennessee Valley area. One of the most affected by the Great Depression. This act was spearheaded by Senator George W. Norris, a progressive Republican from Nebraska. The new TVA is expected to give a healthy boost to the economy for the area. So as soon as possible. Okay, so I made a mistake. Um, honestly, I want to get this one done, and I don't want to go back. So I'm just going to use console commands right now and give ourselves like 27 PP. My bad. I didn't mean to. We're going to do this immediately because I want to see what happens here. And now we're going to go PP. I'm going to get myself by minus 27. There you go. I want to see what happens. I've never done this successfully, so I obviously I just made a mistake. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Oh well. So strict for school conservatism. Um, isn't that what? Uh, I don't remember. Social yeah, it was introduced social security is the one we gotta go. A balanced social security. Oh crap! I don't rem know which one is which. Strict fiscal conservatism. We did balance a budget, but he's, uh, FDR is known as Mr. Alphabet. You know, government organization guy. Tax redistribution. Uh, the American civilian industry. Uh, don't remember. I feel like this one's not bad. I'll, yeah, I mean, this probably makes more sense. Alphabet agencies, I just said that, so. Spending is key. While we have much to maintain, while we have to maintain a balanced budget, our strategy to deal with the depression will be based on spending and putting our money to good use. Yeah, my bad for using cons commands. I don't mean to use them, but just like, uh, I don't care at that point. Like, it, it's such a close thing. I didn't realize I wasn't supposed to be doing this one first and then do that. Unemployment goes down, that's good. First hundred days are over. After more than three months in office, the FDR has managed to pass a very important legislation through Congress. However, now the sense of urgency is vain and the New Deal uh, is less popular in the eyes of some politicians. This has led to a loss of support in Congress, which means that we'll have to negotiate harder for the next laws we pass. Hold them back. Oh, wow. Oh, we still have a good amount of support. National Firearms. National Firearms Act. What type of anti-American things are you talking about? Union Station Massacre. Terrible news is, after a long shootout at the Union Station Railroad Depot in Kansas City, four law enforcers and a criminal have been murdered. This terrible act was part of the attempt of a gang led by Vernon Miller to free Frank Nash, a federal prisoner. The FBI, led by J. Edgar Hoover, has already begun to investigate the crime and catch those who are responsible. Rest in peace. Communications Act, huh? Raiders, not bad. Homeowners Loan Corporation. I like that. That's not bad. I think we can do that one. Lobby for the House and Senate and stuff like that, but... Yeah, let's do that one. How should political party... Wow, we're getting up. Wow, we're losing political power. Like, it's crazy. Abysmal crop prices, extremely high unemployment rate, uh, slum proliferation... Uh, segregation is good for us. Huh. Jagger Hoover. I do get more political power that way. So it's only 2%, though. It's probably not worth it. Oh, William V. Pratt retires. Our chief of naval operations, William V. Pratt, has reached out to his end of his career and has retired. The president has already picked a new CNO to replace him, Admiral William H. Stanley. Huey Long breaks with the president. Huey Long, senator from Louisiana and an influential Democrat, has declared the end of support for Roosevelt. As he thinks his new deal is turning out to be too modern and doesn't offer the wealth redistribution he demanded in his share of the wealth program. The president is not very happy with him either, seeing the populist leader as one of the most dangerous men for America because of the nearly dictatorial way he ran Louisiana when his governor. For now, we've lost support in the Senate. Demagogues and populists are not welcome here? Hmm, we'll see. Um, let's get some more uh, House support. Actually, 75 is not bad. We're going to lose political power anyways. 50 representatives. What is this? Oh, National Labor Relations. Okay. Um, since we have it, we might as well spend... Unless we can spend... Yeah, I don't think we can really spend anything here. Yeah. As much as I'd like to. Get the support for now, since we have it. Get up to 5 senators and 25 reps. So. 
Uh, maybe that one too, as we can. It's only 26 days, so it's not bad. As we're still going to be building up, building. Oh, can we do something here? Oh, Homeowners Loan Corporation? Sure. Independence Day celebrations today. This great experiment will get ages one more year and one more example on how liberty will trump over the eels of autocracy. Today marks the anniversary in which our founding fathers proclaimed to the world the first nation to be birthed with the sole intention to provide liberty to the people. Democracy now, democracy for forever. If you like democracy, I guess. So after spending a crap ton, uh, what is this? We'll vote in for a favor. We'll vote for a favor. Well, yeah, we'll vote for this law and prove the majority of the parliament votes in favor. More stability, bank regulations. You get some more political power too. I do like this one. Bank regulations? That's probably a good idea. The crime wave continues. Yesterday, the criminals known as Machine Gun Kelly and Albert Base kidnapped an oil tycoon from Oklahoma. Charles F. Urschel. Urschel. Demanding a $200,000 ransom. It's good that prohibition of the Great Depression will cause our crime rate to skyrocket. And we cannot stay idle. Who thought prohibition was a good idea? We're going to do bank regulations. To deal with the depression. We must continue to fix the damaged banking sector. Congressman Glass and... Steagall Stil should be given support for the building, though the president is not very fond of it. With crime rate increasing all across the country, the Department of Justice has suggested to acquire the island of Alcatraz near San Francisco to build up a high security prison there. Up to this point, the island has been owned by the U.S. Army, but now it seems like the best place in America to imprison criminals. There's no need for this. Absolutely. Oh, artillery, nice. We love that already. Alphabet boys, alphabet boys, uh. Tillamook Burn. Terrible news. The wildfire in Oregon caused by the fall of a steel cable against a dead tree has burned 350,000 acres. The forest was extinguished. The losses proceeded. Our process Luber. A success estimated to be in the $442.4 million, dealing a blow to the industry and also to our economy. Now, it's time for the Civilian Conservation Corps to show its value and restore the forest. Terry Blay. Some will say that's Terry Blay. I agree with him. And prohibition. Regulate them stock markets? Yeah. We need to definitely regulate the stock markets. Even though. I would love if they could, you know, watch stock market today too. But the next, the next step, or the next step in our fight against the depression, the Great Depression, should be the introduction of harsher regulations of the stock markets through a new bill, the Securities Exchange Act. If only if it was enforced fully. Anyways, we got a lot of ships. Not a lot of them are very good though. We got 69 subs, which is pretty nice. Let time go on since we got some time here. Anyways, who is a sea wolf? Anyone here a sea wolf? No. Okay, so you'll you'll learn how to be a sea wolf. Man. I don't need experience gain. Enemy retreat chance. I don't like that for Seawall. Screening, efficiency, positioning. It's not bad. Oh, god dang. You're so close. Um, spawning speed retreat. It's not bad either. Defense. Cuts corners. Get more damage. Screw it. Who cares? Oopsie. There you go. That's our training. Thank regulations. Nice. Regulate that there. Stock market if you can. Oh, National Firearms Act. No. American Consumer Goods is nice, though. Communications Act. I don't want to lose any more support for now, though. Yeah. Does not have abysmal car prices, unemployment, national security, uh, national labor relations, withdrawal from Haiti, and prohibition. Alphabet agencies. Uh, American civilian industry. Huh. Labor regulations, huh? Lose political power, though. And prohibition first. It is the time. Focus on ratifying the 21st Amendment. That will make the repeal of the 18th. Will be a major political victory and will make us more popular in the eyes of the people. God, it sucks losing political power every single day. That looks, sucks so flippin' much. Center right, win Spanish elections. Alright then. 36. Uh, plain stuff. You might as well do that one. Go ahead. Static defense. Go with infiltration tactics. Man, we are. Just dumb here, aren't we? I don't want to lose any more support just yet. <clears throat> uh, 34 stuff, scout cars. We have motorcycles, which is kind of cool. Special forces. I'll also get some mountaineers. That would be pretty useful. And prohibition, please. Uh, it's got a little more political power, I suppose. 244. Social Security Act, yeah. I wouldn't mind getting more stability, though. Stability would be pretty nice. As much as much I want that, let's get more stability. Um, yeah, too. Se Securities Exchange Act. Congress just passed Securities Exchange Act, regulating the secondary trading of securities, stocks, bonds, and debentures, and establishing the Securities and Exchange Commission to enforce the federal securities law. The act also contains extensive anti-fraud provisions and regulates the physical pl place where stocks can be exchanged. Approved. We need way. We need more Senate support. Uh, I don't want to do this yet. Ugh. Labor regulations? Why not? 
Uh, we can make the economy recover, but that has no use if the average worker doesn't feel the effects of the recovery. We'll have to expand the rights of the indiv individual worker, but also the rights of the unions, as our Labor Secretary of France has Perkins is suggesting. Let's hopefully end the strikes as well. William Wooden resigns. After less than a year of working for us, William Wooden, our Secretary of Treasury, resigned due to his poor health condition. President Roosevelt decided to open a strict monetarist. Henry Morgenthau is a Secretary of Treasury. I've heard of him before. We wish him well. Balanced budget, man. I get more political power, though. We lose consumer goods, though. Darn it. We went first amendment ratified. Today, the states of Utah, Ohio, and Pennsylvania ratified the 21st Amendment, reaching the number of states needed for the amendment to become officially ratified. 36. This is only the, the only amendment that completely repeals another, the 18th. The one that started prohibition has brought many problems to the country. Now that prohibition is fully over, we hope we can leave a lot of problems behind, especially crime-related ones. Let's celebrate with wine. Ah, oh, so much more political power. The alphabet agencies. To deal with depression, we shall create go many government agencies to provide employment relief due to their names PWA, HOLC, DRS, FBI, CIA, NSA. These agencies have been dubbed alphabet agencies. CIA wasn't created yet by the time this, uh, at the time, you know, here in the timeline right now, but later on. <clears throat> later on. So we'll get some more Senate support. Uh, we'll get some more House support too, probably. Go and do it. Whatever. Happy 34, everybody. Happy 34. Oh, forgot about this one too. My bad. Keep building. We're not in a good position, but keep building. An Ethiopian visit. <clears throat> in 1930. Rastafari Makonin was Kran Nagusa Nagas of uh, Ethiopia, or Emperor Haile Selassie of Ethiopia, following the death of his cousin, Empress Zuditu, who himself had been regent of. As it was expected, the United States sent a representative to the coronation. Haile Selassie wanted to, wants to return the visit by sending his son-in-law, Ras Desta Damtu, in a diplomatic visit to the U.S. He was expected to arrive in New York for a few days and meet with the representatives there. The president himself would receive the prince. It happened one night. Uh, Frank Coppola's It Happened One Night, starring Clark Gable and Claudette Colbert. As it was released today, it's become a big hit despite low expectations and is set to win the Academy Awards. It is said that due to Clark Gable showing that he is bare chested, the sales of men undershirts have decreased considerably, together for the first time in the airmail scandal. Investigation about the airmail contracts has been going on for some time now, but latest hearings in the Congress are devastating. Allegedly, airlines used the Mail Act passed in 1930 to divide among themselves the air mail routes, with dubious contracts awarded by Postmaster General Walter Folger Brown and William P. McCracken Jr., who has been convicted of contempt of Congress. Due to this information, the Secretary of War has proposed for tra to transfer air mailing duties to the American Air Corps. The Air Corps shall deliver the mail for now. God dang it. Look what y'all do. Look what y'all do. Make us do, huh? Coffee's pretty good, though. At least we get an unemployment reduction. We did end in Prohibition, which is pretty good. <clears throat> so we have quite a while to do this. We gotta really just beeline through this stuff. Drought service, though? <sighs> ah, labor regulations. Senate lobbying efforts, 17th Party Congress of the USSR. Nice. So 53 is not bad. Um, 217 is not great. Oh, we lost more political power now. God dang it. Minus 0.44, what the heck? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Unemployment goes down. Good news. Our unemployment rates falling below the dread 25% of thousands of Americans find unemployment. It seems our economic reforms are doing a good job of fighting the crisis. That's great. Hey, yeah, we got more uh, political power now, too. Oh, wait. Uh. Oh, hold on. Uh. Nicaragua? How do we... Uh, is there anything we can do about them? Oh, new foreign policy. Good neighbor policy. No, withdrawal. Oh, okay. So uh, maybe I'll go back in time and actually fix this one up. Montevideo Convention. Withdrawal from Haiti. Okay, so I didn't realize that you had to do these as well. Because that's a, that's a massive hit to us. I'd rather do that because that's, that's a lot. That's really just a lot. So I'll probably go back and do that one real quick. Uh, let's get hit first. And then we'll talk about labor regulations. Um, let's do new foreign policy. With the new president comes a new uh, foreign policy. But then again, you have to beeline through all this stuff, too. We did read out this one, too. Um, so we have alphabet boys. A good neighbor policy. Our interventionism in Central and South America has to end, or at least it has to be reduced. We had to get along better with our neighbors and withdraw from Nicaragua. We should finish what Hoover started and complete our military withdrawal from Nicaragua. Well, I guess I'll see you in just a little bit. Bonnie and Clyde. The criminals Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow has been a target for public attention for some time now. With their latest crime, they killed two young highway patrolmen near Grapevine, Texas. We are more determined to put an end to the robbers and killings. Or robberies and killings. Now we have to decide how we want to uh, put them down. Offer a reward. Prepare an ambush. Offer a reward for them. Hmm. 
Eh, fair and ambush. I don't remember. Offer a reward. John Dillinger escapes from prison. The crime wave continues. After we captured bank robber John Dillinger in Tucson, Arizona, he was sent to a prison in Crown Point, Indiana. Oh. We have just received news that he has escaped using a wooden pistol. Now it is expected that he and his group, the Dillinger gang, will continue the crimes unless we manage to stop him. The question is how? Prepare an FBI operation? Uh, let's offer a reward. And also, we got a lot of political power now, so I'm just going to spend it on getting more support, probably? We could probably grab this. Industrial motors would be pretty nice. You get more industrial research speed too, but and get more output, which I do like. But I want more political power, and I'd rather do all. Oh, he was. I get more political power that way. Mark Clark, huh? Um, yeah. This stuff is not going to give you any political power over here, so. <clears throat> I do want more house support just in case. And I'll do both these. Why not? Screw it. We lose a lot of political power anyways. We lose one a day. Holy crap! That's really bad. And each crop price is increasing. We did. Withdraw from Nicaragua, which is nice. We will do Haiti soon and grant independence to the Philippines. So, Communications Act. Yeah, we'll see what happens. And we're still doing labor regulations. And we'll go back and do alphabet agencies. The crop prices increase. I've negotiating uh, production decreases with some farmers. And even burning some crops at lower prices. We've managed to turn around the negative trend. And the crop prices are beginning to slowly increase. Nice. <clears throat> which is pretty good. Alright. So, we still have 400 days left, which is pretty bad, I'll be honest. But whatever. Okay, so I need prohibition, which is good. Uh, and we're doing, or we're actually getting a lot more naval stuff. We're doing a lot more naval stuff. We must train them until they all die. So, <clears throat> all right. So after labor regulations, um, the West Coast waterfront strike. Trouble news arrived from the West Coast as longshore men and sailors declared general strike in the port of San Francisco. The clash between strike breakers and strikers have caused two deaths, and the strikers refuse to accept the deal we propose. This incident has caused an increased unionization across the West Coast ports. Those darn socialists. Huh. Bonnie Clyde still free. Our strategy against buying class has not worked, and they continue to rob banks, killing two policemen yesterday in Spring Hill, Louisiana. Our strategy has failed, so we must try another one. Prepare an ambush, then. Dust Bowl. Well, it's not a new problem. The particularly destructive two-day storm has removed massive amounts of topsoil in the Great Plains, and the worst storm to date. It seems that this wave of dust storm, the Dust Bowl, as it's called, will need a government response for it to cause too much damage. We did not need this. Crap. <clears throat> Montevideo Convention. To prove our friendly intentions, we shall sign a convention forbidding meddling in other American countries' internal politics. Huh. Huh. Funny. Honey, how are we doing here? Six, six is not great. That's not great. Labor regulations are good though. Do this one immediately. And we'll do the alphabet stuff soon. Um, drought release services will be good to do as well. Yeah, that'd be really good. Holy crap. Should have saved your PP earlier, but we're losing so much political power now. Uh, but we'll, let's withdraw from Haiti first. And then we'll do the alphabet agencies, which I probably should have done first, but whatever. We're ready to withdraw from Haiti. We're finishing our military occupations in the Caribbean. So we remove, they'll remove the U.S. occupation. Haiti becomes free. We get more political power. Overall, oh, John Dillinger killed. Good news. After we offered a reward for John Dillinger, a Romanian immigrant close to a circle, Anna Kamapas, has betrayed Dillinger and offered information to the FBI about his whereabouts. He was subsequently intercepted and gunned down by the FBI in Chicago. It's a great victory against crime. Law will defeat criminals. And eventually. Eventually. Nice. Def depends in depth. Yeah, we could use that political... Oh, it's not losing anymore. The Silver Purchase Act. The Great Depression has caused a massive drop in the price of silver, and President Roosevelt has determined to solve the situation. In order to do so, uh, the Congress just approved the Silver Purchase Act that allowed the President to nationalize silver mines and move all the production to the U.S. Mint. Roosevelt has also begun to purchase large amounts of silver from all around the world, hoping to increase its price. Most countries use the gold standard, so our advisors hope that this measure won't damage their economies. The big exception is China. They still use silver standard, and projected increase of the price of silver may force them to abandon it. Get that silver, and Bonnie Clyde killed. Good news, an ambush set up by Texas Park Ranger. Uh, Texas Ranger Frank Hammer, Bonnie and Clyde, and Clyde Barrow have been shot around 65, 50 times each, ending another crime wave or crime gang and solving a persistent problem. Their strategic story of love, robberies, and violence ends now. And law has been enforced, and we just shot some youngins. And that's how you do it. Just shoot them. So, after, so once we withdraw from Haiti, we do need a Philippine independence as well. Um, neutrality Act of 33. We do get a lot of political power. And if you want to buy this one, please go ahead. Nice. Actually, that's a lot of political power. We do get some support. North Dakota declares an appointment. Confusing news arrives from North Dakota. The North Dakota Supreme Court declared Lieutenant Governor uh, O. H. Olson, the legitimate governor, and old William Longer to resign. He refused barricading himself in the governor's mansion with ten friends declaring a North Dakota independent. He has finally agreed to leave his office after the Supreme Court met with him. Wait. What's going on in the Dakotas? I do want to do this one first, though, just because um, I want to get through this stuff, so. And we want to make sure we can cut down on the prices, too. So let's do this one first, yeah. That'd be good. Nice. Good. Just because we gotta get this election campaign stuff. So we withdrew from Haiti. We ended Prohibition, which is good. Um, how many more days do we have until we do withdraw from the Philippines? Oh, that's not a lot of days. 
So after that one, um, this stuff can wait slightly. So again, this one done will be good. Then we'll start withdrawing from the Philippines, I guess. It's still 34, everybody. Hope you're having a great, 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 great year. Get some tanks done. Get some better engineers, maybe. Well, Paul von Hindenburg dies. Oh boy, rest in peace. Requiem pace. National Labor Board relations will be good to do as well. Yeah, we lose. We ooh, we lose a lot of political power, but we gonna need it. The National Labor Relations Act. With a bitter opposition of the Republican Party and other conservative groups, the Congress has just passed the National Labor Relations Act, also known as the Wagner Act. The act is a very important step in the field of workers' rights. It grants them the right to unionize, use collective bargaining, call strikes. To prosecute possible violations of the law, the act also creates the National Labor Relations Board and bans certain labor practices branded it as unfair. The act is passed with overwhelming support within labor groups and will hopefully help the average American. We'll see. Hopefully, unless we have caused more problems. American Liberty League. What was that? Today, a group of Democrats hostile to President Roosevelt formed the American Liberty League. With the goal of stopping the New Deal, formed by Democratic politicians and wealthy industrialists, it won't be very effective for now. Nothing to worry about. For now. 59%. Social conservatives. Social liberals. Alright. Herbert Hoover. Edward Anderson. Lewis Walker. Uh, T Norman Thomas. And George Counts. What does he count? So after the mouth of the agencies are founded, Philippine independence. It's time to grant the Philippines the full right of self-governance, reducing their military and political presence there. Yeah, because we're going to be running out of time. That's a 35-day focus, which is not bad. And the Neutrality Act? Oh, but this will be 35-day focus. That's fine. Yeah. Nice. All right. So what do we have here? Puerto Rican Administration. Not bad. Subsistence, subsistence Homesteads Division. Well, we could do that, but Farm Credit Act? Yeah. Definitely do that one. 48. Oh, that sucks. 230. That's still not too bad up here, though. Nice. Social Security. We got to definitely pass that one quickly. Um, That's not bad, but not m mandatory yet. Battlefleet concentration. Let's keep working on our naval doctrine since we got all that naval XP. Midterms are approaching. The 1934 midterm elections are approaching, and it's a big opportunity to maintain our Congress, congressional support, or even pick up a few seats. Many governorships are also up for grabs, and we shouldn't waste this opportunity to expand our institutional power. To accomplish all this, we have to decide how we want to manage our campaign. Should we fully involve himself? Fails and successes of our administration have a big impact on midterm elections. Some of the endorsements. This sounds like it could go really badly for us, so I want to go all the way in. Go all the way with LBJ. Wait. We're not there yet, but okay, whatever. Yeah. So after that one, Neutrality Act 33 might not be bad because we get so much political power and more support. Oh, so this is uprising space. Oh, hello. <clears throat> to ensure Congress supports for our other acts, our four other acts, we shall support a Neutrality Act that would reinforce our isolationist policies. We get a lot more political power and we get more support, which is super important. Oops. Well, we just go click on one. Anyways, there you go. Okay. Nice. It looks kind of handsome, though. Not going to lie. Kind of handsome. Subsistence farming. Um, Social Security Act. Yeah, we're going to do that one. We need these 49 senators. Do we not have... If it's split evenly and we have a VP, that should be the one who decides how the thing should go, right? I thought that... Like... Huh? 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 I thought the VP was the one who broke the Senate tie. Did it change since then? I don't know. Don't ask me, man. I'm not here. American politics? I just complain about American politics. I don't know anything about American politics. Actually, I do know a little bit, but whatever. 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 Uh, there we go. We're going to need some cruisy boys. Uh, heavy cruisers are nice and all, but not really. Don't care for them that much. Deck armor. Um, hopefully we're not limited by any sort of treaty here, so we can actually do this. Darn, that sucks. There you go. For now. We'll get some battleships later on, too, but whatever. Uh, so Neutrality Act. Reciprocal Tariffs Act. Wouldn't be too bad. We do get some civvies. And reduce unemployment. 34 midterm elections. Today, the American people go to the polls to renovate the House of Representatives, a third of the Senate, and most governorships. Well, normally, the party of the president takes a hit on the midterm. Some party members believe that FDR's popularity will help us secure a lot of seats and governorships. The American people have decided, and the results are victory in the midterms. Uh, reciprocal uh, Tariffs Act. Um, just because we, then we'll beeline towards this one. The typical tariffs act will allow the president to sign juicy trade deals with other countries, thus contributing with national and international and economic recovery. Victory in the midterms. Good news, our party's managed to retain almost all of our seats, and those that we lost in Michigan and the Midwest have been compensated with big gains in New England. In the Senate, we managed to gain seats in the Steel Belt in New England without losing any senator. While we've compensated the loss of governorships in Michigan, Wisconsin, Maryland with our new gains in uh, Nevada, Oregon, North Dakota, and Pennsylvania. Well, this results clearly show the support of the people for the new deal. Great. Well, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Well, hopefully we do really, really well here, so... Um, how many more days do we have to wait for this one? No more days! Yay! Alright, anything else down there? No. Neutrality Act. Oh god, yes. Uh, yeah. It's fine. 
Congratulations to the Philippines! Communications. We got a good amount of support now. For now. We got independence? Nice. Oh, we were running out of time there. Oh boy. Um. Seven cities would be nice, but still. I don't want to do this. Why would we do that? Campaign promises. Yeah, I don't want to do that one at all. Um, support is looking pretty darn good right now, though, in all honesty. I don't want a heavy cruiser. I just don't want heavies. I don't like them that heavy. A new chief of staff. The new president of the Philippines, Manuel Quezon, has asked our chief of staff, Douglas MacArthur, to supervise the creation of a new Philippine army. President Roosevelt has authorized this, and MacArthur is preparing to leave for the Philippines soon. Despite having heated discussions with the president, MacArthur is considered to be a good military leader and organizer. <clears throat> With the term as his chief of staff being extended by Roosevelt. Now Malin Craig, the president of the Army World College, will become the new chief of staff. New leadership. Cool. Very cool. It is still 34. It's almost 35, though. So let's get some more fuel capacity, even though we don't really need that. But whatever. Uh, Great War Tanks. Thank goodness we're moving out of that era. Oh my goodness. We need so many guns. Um, well, a lot of Are we still losing political power? No, we're actually gaining stuff. So let's do this one. No, this one. Get a city. Why not? Screw it. Get a city. Um, 33, 34, 35, 36. Anything there? Anything there? Yes. Oh, we can't get out of that. The, the wall wall crisis, huh? Ah, uh, the hope of research be one. We'll do it once. Cool. All right. The American civilian industry. We shall focus our efforts in helping our industrial companies recover the depression, generating more more employment, and strengthening our economic position. Which help with removing unemployment. So that's why I want to do that one. Um, anything here? Oh god, that takes so long to get through all this stuff. Oh my goodness. Defense and depth is nice. Grab some tank warfare as well. Uh, oh wow, holy crap, banking act. Yeah, that's not bad. Emergency relief stuff. Oh, that's not bad to do. Ooh, remove dust. Oh, we gotta do that. We gotta remove the dust bowl, because the dust bowl is really bad for us. Month of ah, that's not terrible. Could be better. Oh, motor carriers. That's not bad. Reciprocal tariffs. Unemployment stuff. It's not bad either. I like that too. You get two civvies. Let's get the civvies first. Public utility holding company? Ooh, that's not bad. So now we're going to need a lot more support. So do both. <laughs> we lose a political power day now. Holy crap. Um, Social liberalism is fine. Does that does affect our political power? Would that boost us? You know what? Let's, let's do it. Will that get us to 60% so we can get even more daily political power? Maybe. God, I hope so. <clears throat> Extensive civilian uh, industry investments. Or, from Hawaii to New York. Today is a great day for aviation, as Amelia Earhart has become the first person to fly solo from Hawaii to New York. We should keep an eye on Earhart. She seems to have a good, great talent for flying. Congratulations. Industrial investments will conti be continued and expand and get out of the Great Depression. As my voice starts to crack more and more and more. Oh. Welcome to puberty. Just train indefinitely. How much Eric's can we actually get from that? Not much, now is it? That does kind of suck, as we're just going to keep developing our uh, naval doctrine as much as possible. But in 35, we're going to come down here and actually go, like, is it disperse? No, that's, that's next year. Uh, cap, base, growth, cap, 10%, I don't know. Versatile production. Definitely versatile. Crop prices increase. Ooh, National Youth Administration. That's not bad. <clears throat> but happy night to 35, everybody. Hope you're having a great, great year. Hopefully get a lot more support so we can actually do stuff here. Banking app would not be bad. American civilian industry. Nice. Oh boy! Oh, the Robinson Patman Act. More savings would be nice. Uh, Modify the Great Depression. Lose the political power. It was removed days from crop prices. Increases. Remove dust bowl. Yeah, I think that'd be good to do. And crop prices. Yeah, let's do that one immediately. Crop price increase. Hey, our economic reforms seem to have increased demand, and that combined with the work of the Triple A has managed to increase crop prices. Great. More Carrier Act. Remove unemployment stuff. It's not bad. Uh, social liberalism. And opposition. I want to just get rid of unemployment first. Let's get some more roads, maybe. Social, you know what? Okay, so we went from 0 0.05 now to 0 0.1. That's slightly more political power, which is nice. Work progress administration. Oh, that's not bad. National youth is okay. This one's better to do. Definitely better to do. Nice. Unemployment goes down. Our unemployment rate keeps going down, falling under 20% as millions of Americans become employed. This great news is not only for our administration, but also for the American people who deserve a better life. Nice. Um, honestly, I would rather do both. There's not going to be much support, but I'd rather do that both. Yeah. It's going to take a while to get up there, though. 50, 73, huh? 
I'd love to get more stability, but and which would give us more political power and war support, which we don't really need, but whatever. So after this one, American military industry. We have to help our military companies recover from the depression, creating jobs, increasing our weapons and ammo output. Hey, 15 and 4, that's not too bad. That's getting better. It's definitely getting better. Uh, the Black Sunday Storm. Crap. Bad news. A terrible dust storm has hit eastern uh, New Mexico. Uh, Colorado and western Oklahoma. This is another episode of Dust Bowl. A problem that we must solve. We don't want to face a humanitarian crisis. Aw, oh, crap. But, we, did we get rid of the Dust Bowl? Low crop prices, which is getting better. Uh, Great Depression is getting better. High unemployment rate sucks, but it's getting better. And we have still racial segregation, which we won't talk about. Do we like racial segregation? Let's not bring that up. That's, that's, a, that's another episode for another day. Um, you know what? Since we have them. It's carriers. We'll trade with the Soviet Union because everyone loves the Soviet Union. And then extensive military industry investments. Investments in the military industrial complex shall be continue to expand for the greater good of America. Germany reintroduces conscription. Germany, what are you doing? Step Germany, foundation of the UAW. United Auto Workers, a new labor union, has been created today in Detroit, Michigan, a major industrial hub. Born under the auspices of the American Federation of Labor, the largest union group of the U.S., as with most unions, its goals are improvements of workers' conditions in automobile industries, and they are preparing strikes and other actions. More unions, huh? I call him a social liberal. What? Whoa! Is he more of a? Is he not a social democrat? I don't know. Don't ask me about anything about FDR. NIRA found unconstitutional. The Supreme Court made the final decision on the Schlechter Poultry Corp versus Corporation versus the U.S. case. It's not good for us. Chief Justice Charles Evan Hughes wrote for a unanimous court in invalidating the industrial codes for repair competition, which NIRA enabled the president to issue. The court held that with the codes violated the constitutional separation of powers and is an imper impermissible delegation of legislative power to the executive branch. The court also held that the NIRA provisions were in excess of congressional power under the Commerce Clause. Thus, NIRA has been declared unconstitutional taken down. Oh, crap. Oh, God, that's really bad for us. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. And it's going to add more days to the unemployment reduction, huh? Uh, federal employment condition. I don't know thing about... Did we do the thing about Puerto Rico? I guess we did. Banking Act. That would help. We lose political power and support. As much as I love civvies... I've got to do the motor carrier act first. Terrible. God dang it. You pieces of garbage. Why are you hurting us? Why are you hurting us so badly? Uh, because I just want to hang out. Oh, look at that. 19 more ships. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Especially these garbage uh, subs. Um, who doesn't have... Oh, boy. Yeah, those guys are going to get blown up really quickly. Wow, how do we get more manpower? Look at that, huh? Yeah, extensive military production stuff. Not bad. 0.34 is not very good. Ah, yeah, versatile production, nice. That's good though. Get some more construction speed. 15-3 ain't too shabby. Uh, Huey Long filibusters the Senate. Huey Long, Democrat from Louisiana, just made the longest speech in the history of the Senate. 15 hours and 150,000 words. After he founded the Share Our Wealth platform last year, his ambition has grown. He might be able to split the Democratic vote in the next election. Populists are not welcome in America. I invite him to speak to the White House to talk. Uh, no, I don't think they like each other, so... Populists are not welcome. We'll go with that one. Oh, oh, yeah. Wait, why is it going... Why did it go back up to point one? Okay, point zero five. It was point one five. I'm like, wow, that's really high. Why is it so high? Introduce Social Security. God, we, we gonna need to make sure we can pass this. We have to help people get through these rough times. Old age pensions and unemployment subsidies will protect those who need protection and help many American families out of extreme poverty. It is their duty for the people to get this bill passed. And closer, inching closer to 36 all the time. Which we probably don't need the fuel stuff, but whatever. Um, armor, guns, yeah. Oh, we're going to lose even more political power. Oh, where are we at? So, oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks. Oh, crap. That's not good. Uh, you unlock the ability to vote for this, so. But we do get some more senators and representatives. Not much. Five more is not going to be enough, though. And how many did we say we we're going to get from this one? 25. 25 is not bad. So 25 will definitely help us out. Yeah, we'll be fine. We need more senators, though. So, yeah. We'll see. Past Social Security would be good. Um, extensive housing projects. It's tax redistribution. We lose political power, but we do get some more senator support. Tackling the housing problem. So we can't do that one. Huh. Slow proliferation. Elections at 36. Oh boy. Oh boy. 
Someone help us out. We would like to do a little better here. Labor Day. Oh, crap. Yesterday, Category 5 hurricane made landfall in the upper floor of Keys, killing 423 people. Holy crap. With winds that reach a speed of 185 miles per hour, it's the strongest hurricane we've ever recorded. Terribly. Well, bro, that sucks. That sucks for y'all. Uh, I should not have passed everything else first. How are we supposed to get this stuff done? High unemployment, low crop prices. Where are we at? We are at low... Okay, so we're at that one. That's good. Um, we're at high unemployment, which is not bad to be at. We're going to need that for later. Um, tax redistribution. We're going to lose political power, but we get more support. Yeah, tax redistribution. To finance our social programs, we have to tax the rich more heavily. They can protest all they want, but the needs of the people are more important. Oh, crap. That's not good. 46. We need three. 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 So I can tell Ethiopian War. All right, modern construction techniques. Mm. We're almost go down superior firepower because that's the historical one for us. Can I just any volunteers? No, we need more will attention. Oh, looking kind of handsome there, man. Oh, how do we pass social security? How do we pass social security? Oh God, dang it! Actually, because that would help us out, right? More stability, more war support. We lose political power, but that's fine. Oh, we don't even have enough representatives. Oh, God dang it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. If we can't do this one, this will be it. But we get five senators and 25 representatives. So we can still do it. It's going to take a while. Tax redistribution is going to be a pain in the big old butthole, but whatever. That's okay. Sometimes you need things that are god awful. So. Ooh, hopefully we do okay, though. Congress of Industrial Organization. The American Federation of Labor, the biggest union in our country, has succumbed to internal divisions. The strong dominance of craft unionists over the AFL and its lack of militancy has caused tensions within the Federation, which led to the creation of the Committee of Industrial Organizations inside the AFL. The AFL, however, decided to kick all members of this group out of the Federation, leading to them forming their own Independent Congress of Industrial Organizations. This new CIO is very strong union inside, such as a UAW and the UMWA, and its militancy will likely cause problems. So, more strikes? Yes. Yes. More strikes, please. Yes. Strike all day. Strike as long as you want. We'll see what happens. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so extensive housing projections. Or projects. We have to use all the means that are disposed to destroy slums and help every American family for their own house. Wait, so can we not do this yet? We should... Are you kidding me? Oh, no, 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 no. We should have gotten more support than that. We should have gotten way more support. You know what? I'm going to go back... To see if we can get a little more support from just passing a stupid tax redistribution thing. The AAA found unconstitutional. The verdict of the U.S. versus Butler is here and it could be worse. The issue ver was caused by the money given to the farmers so the downsides of production, raising crop prices. The special processing tax and the use of Congress spending and taxing power in order of finances has caused a 6-3 ruling of the Supreme Court killing the AAA and sending us back in the field of a guaranteed economy. Are you serious? Well, at this point, I'm not doing a focus. Like, there's no point to do a focus right now since we still can't pass Social Security. So, like... This is, I think, kind of stupid. We're going to get close to getting crop prices increased and unemployment reduced, but at this point, I'm not going to do any, you know, no more, no more focuses just because we need the political power. I don't like this. I really don't like this. It's not that bad, but like, we need reps. We need the Senate here. We've got to get the Senate. So, I'm not sure what else to do except just not do a focus. So it's just kind of stupid, but you know, it is what it is. It's not like we're going to go to war anytime soon. So, you know. We'll do the best we can, but popular front won Spanish elections. Let's see how they go. And yeah, it, it sucks. I I I'd want to do you know a focus, but you know the political power for it. I guess we'll get this one down, which would be nice. And then we gotta wait another uh, 60 days for this crap, which would be, put us there. The show of restoration. What will Japan's next move be? Well, we'll see. Synthetic oil. It is 36. So that'd be 36, everybody. Uh, concentrated. That's not bad. Max factories in the state goes up, yeah. Might as well do that one. Then we can do the other one too, but whatever. Come on, just get us that political power. Come on. Increase the goddamn crop prices. <laughs> so stupid. That we have to fight, 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 fight all the time. Who's negative zero? St. Patrick's Day flood. Oh, great. Yesterday, the city of Pittsburgh, or Pittsburgh, I should say, Pennsylvania, witnessed the worst flood in its history. When flood levels reached and peaked at 46 feet. It's been devastating. About 100,000 buildings have been destroyed, and the damage is estimated at about 250 million, with 69 deaths and 500 injured. So, to pass the Social Security Act, we need just a few more senators. Just two. That's all we just need two. Just need two. 
We couldn't get it. We needed two more senators. So stupid. But we'll recognize the USSR. It's time to acknowledge the fact that the USSR represents Russia now. When recognize them, we'll establish relations that bring profits to both parties. And uh, demand uh, repayment of Tsar's debts. We now recognize the USSR. Now expect them to pay us back. The debts contracted by the Tsar's Russians should be repaid, and that duty rests on the USSR shoulders now. Anti espionage treaty. We have to foster uh, co better cooperation between the USA and the USSR. And to do that, we have to trust each other. To trust each other, we need to stop spying on each other. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Do at least oh, we're still losing political power because of the Senate lobbying efforts. Germany remilitarized around them. Basically, we started the campaign now. Welcome back, everybody, to the campaign. Welcome back. And one mortars. All right, we get some thirty-six guns, but I want to get some more output first. Get some more industry stuff going. Uh, stop doing uh, all that naval stuff for now. Uh, stuff's okay. Come over and grab that. That's fine. Recognize the USSR. I don't know which one's more circle, so we're going to wait to do that one. Let's uh, review the military. America needs to be defended. We can't neglect our brave soldiers, pilots, and sailors who are ready to die for our country. Hopefully, we'll get rid of the high unemployment soon as well. So, review the military. Let's do the Tame Navy, maybe? Ooh. I think more political power that way. Tame Navy. The U.S. Navy is crucial for our interests in the Pacific and Caribbean. We can't let it fall and get out of shape. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. At least we get more political power that way. Review the military. Tame the Navy. So frustrating doing that. The Vinsel Trammell Act. Unemployment goes down. After many economic reforms, their unemployment rate has fallen from catastrophic levels of 25% to the more manageable 15%. While well, this is still a big number, we've managed to turn around the trend and guarantee the American dream for millions of the families. Perfect. We had to convince Congress of three things. A naval base, construction program, the expansion of our naval production capabilities, and a general improvement of our capital ships. Popular front wins elections of France. Another popular front. Never enough popular fronts. Now can we freaking do it? Jesus Christ, this is stupid. I have to wait so long for this. Uh... <clears throat> Revenue Act, mm, Banking Act, Commodities Exchange Act, Communications, Merchant Marine, Walsh Healy Public Contracts Act, a Rural Electrification, which I would like to do that one, but Social Security got to do it. Aid to Dependent Children. Do we care about the children? All right, so we did do the election campaign promises. Thank God. Oh my goodness. A little frustrating bugger there. So now I can actually calm down about all this other stuff. So after the Tame Navy, we'll do the act, uh, airmail scandal. Oh. Sub challenge. Aging army. Increased army funding. A 36th Republican National Convention. The Republican National Convention was closed today at the Public Auditorium in Cleveland, Ohio. The two main candidates for the presidential nomination were Ralph Landon, a central businessman, or centrist businessman, <clears throat> and William Bora, a progressive senator from Idaho. Landon, with the support of the parties, managed to win the nomination. Newspaper publisher Frank Knox was chosen as his running mate. Landon Knox ticket doesn't stand a chance. The 36th heat wave. Recent reports uh, indicate that are more and more worrying as temperatures continue to rise. Lots of places are reporting temperatures of more than 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The agriculture is be beginning to get affected. Not to mention all the deaths caused by extreme heat across the Midwest. Oh, wait, what? 30 days to the mission. Crop prices increase. We, we fix that. What do you mean? Well, you don't lie to us. We don't have any more crop price issues. No more problems. Uh, aging army. The army is not in very good shape. It has been slowly decaying since the Great War ended. We can improve it, but it will be quite difficult. No, we might be able to do this one. I'm not really sure. We'll see what happens. Oh, there goes Ethiopian Empire. Goodbye. 36th Democratic National Convention. The Democratic National Convention is being held in the days in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. As usual, President Roosevelt will seek re-election, and so far nobody's challenged him. So he'll likely become the Democratic candidate. Vice President Garner will also likely become his running mate again. President Roosevelt is, re is re nominated by acclamation. Nice. Gone with the Wind. Today, Margaret Mitchell's historical romance novel, Gone with the Wind, has been published. The novel, set in Georgia during the Civil War and the Reconstruction Era, tells the story of young Scarlett O'Hara, the spoiled daughter of a well-to-do plantation owner who has found a way out of poverty during the destruction caused by Sherman's March to the Sea. Although the book is unprecedented high price of $3, it quickly became a bestseller. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a darn. Oh, do the ancient army, yeah. I don't remember this one. Pay out the debts? I don't remember which one was more historical. I want to do the anti-espionage one, though. We'll see. Oh, that's nice. Democracy not democracy forever. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I'll probably do the anti-espionage one, maybe. We'll see what happens. But uh, increase army funding. Ooh. Yeah, we definitely don't have enough support for this. We need at least 58 senators. Holy crap. Spanish Civil War? Oh, nice. 
Air Corps, I guess next. We lack a proper Air Force as the American Air Corps is strictly subordinate to, subordinated to the Army. We can still expand to ensure our control over the skies, though. Extraction because we can. Basic machine tools ain't too bad either. Um, 35, 36, 37, 39, tank stuff. There we go. M3 tank. Not great, but it'll get the job done, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Air Corps, thank you very much. Um, airmail scandal. With airlines exploring the airmail duties for their own benefit, the Air Corps shall take over the mailing duties. This will allow us to significantly expand the Corps. Yeah, I'm to do that one, but... Oh, oh, it's auto-bypassed. Expand the Air Corps. Uh, why not? First things first, we must dramatically increase the number of planes that are disposable both fighters and bombers. And there's nothing else we can really do yet, so I'll look at this one off screen and see what we can do. New Chief of the Air Corps. Expanding your stuff here. We need to pass the act for ourselves. So. General HQ-8 Air Force. We must now able establish a centralized Air Force level command headed by an aviator answering directly to the Army Chief of Staff. It'll be called General HQ Air Force. It'll be a permanent peacetime tactical organization. But I think I'm going to end the episode there. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we'll figure out what else we can do with FDR and his policies for making America... Well, not so depressed greatly anymore. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, 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 tremendous rest of your day.